All right, YouTube. This is Slappy Dog. I'm getting ready to go get into something. You with us, Bumper? Yeah, what's up, everybody? Can I get a yay? Yay! All right. Y'all ready? Here we go. <laughs> This gold wing is gonna take me. Alright, out of this wah wah. I think that's just enough of water for a good old slappy dog cannonball. Oh, slow down, slappy. 45 miles an hour. I know there's some Barney fights out there trying to get my money. She's got a YouTube channel. Take nothing for your journey. Journey. Look at these daggum horses over here, boy. I wonder if he'll trade that daggum old yellow one for this old black gold one. Boy, they daggum saddled up and ready to go. Oh, yeah. That brown one's ready. They saddled up and ready to do something. Well, we headed south. Coming in hot. All right, here we go. We coming in to Madisonville. There go some fellow riders right there. Go wings and Harleys and a splash of choppers. Uh, we ain't too far from a buddy. Yeah, this is his neck of the woods. I just tried to call him. See if he wanted to go out here and bust a move. Let Bunny Mac was say, Clint, we down here. I try to call you, slappy dog. Uh-oh. This smash on there. Ain't no need to stop for that. I try to holler at you there, Clint. See if you want to get on one of them gold wings and bust a move. My gold wing is talking good to me. She said, go this way. I said, all right. Why they don't never have men voices in, in GPS? Is that bumper? They do. Do they? Yep. I've never heard a men voice on a uh, GPS. Yep, they have one that is British, deep, and Lord have mercy. You like it, do you? <laughs> Sound like Il just Elba? Is that his name? Did I say it right? Oh. Well, we on 68 southbound. Now this is technically the way you can go to Chahelia Skyway and Bald River Falls. Look at them mountains up there. Uh. That's why they call it the Smoky Mountain. Look at them low clouds and them mountains. Look like the mountain is on fire. Ugh. Right now, it's very clear up there. No rain right now. You are the of my life. We are still on 68 southbound. And I'm reckon we're going to get up in them mountains there, Thumper. I'm ready to go. You got your hiking shoes on? I got them. Yeah, I may let you uh go up there and find you one of them smoking bears and 
Let him have a piece of your daggum uh, bologna sandwich. Please don't be the smoking bears. Please get to Blue Ridge, uh, Georgia. Which, where Blue Ridge, Georgia is, is Amicalona Falls. It's the start of the Appalachian Trail right at Springer Mountain. Oh, okay. All right. Did you get a chance to hike up her? Uh, the Amicalola Falls is the one where I finished the approach trail. Yes, we hiked it once, but not Hey, I got some nice, uh, uh -huh. little twisties up here going up the mountain. Hooking, Slappy, hooking. Oh, we know how to handle them good twisties now. Welcome to Cherokee National Forest. Is that what that sign says? That's what it is. Welcome to Cherokee National Forest. Yep. Ooh, look at that sign right there, boy. That means we can really have fun. Yeah, fun.
Are you with me, Thumper? Oh, yeah. You glad to be? It's a nice little windy road that goes into a lot of trail town. Boy, it should be nice to find somebody cooking a good old country breakfast with some possum and grits and eggs. <laughs> some possum links. You down for some of that? Only the grits. Maybe the eggs. Some possum grits. Maybe some raccoon sausages. <laughs> no raccoon sausages. I have saved all the raccoons. Uh, raccoon good eating. <laughs> we are still on 68 southbound. And it's good and tight back here. Shoot. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've been through here in quite a while. I well, everybody, I got my fellow vlogger, my sidekick, Thumper. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Take Nothing for Your Journey. This is Thumper, you guys. On um, her channel is Take Nothing for Your Journey. She does some camping, yes. some hiking. hiking. What, what exactly is, is the terminology for what you do? All right, Take Nothing for Your Journey. Some camping, hiking. Did my first backpacking trip. We were working up to completed that about what, about three weeks ago. No, probably about. Uh, about three, four weeks ago, I'd say four. About four weeks ago, worked out pretty good. Getting ready to go on a three-day backpacking trip to Cloudland Canyon. So if you like anything that's outdoors, camping, backpacking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures or shenanigans, you would love to take us for your journey. <laughs> What does that say? It says Welcome Center. I didn't hear you. The Welcome Center. That's the Welcome Center. Well, they had a town up under it. Uh, that's Unicorn uh, Turnpike, the Unicorn uh, Mountain, and that is also a connector to the Appalachian Trail. So this is where Black will put the yay! Uh, back here at Coker Creek School. back over in yonder wood. He knew exactly where to dip and dip out. Yep. Gator wood. Gated property. Boy, this look like a good place for for real bear to come out, boy. We seen a bear uh, Friday up there in uh, the back of the dragon. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he was really, really close. Is it a baby bear or one of mama? It's a baby for sure, no. Oh, and Mama was somewhere close to Close by. Yeah. Right now, if you ever go up to the Great Smoky Mountains, um, or anywhere, in these parts, the bear population has doubled this year. So we are bound to see probably a few of them while we're out. Correct. Poker Creek Village. Right here, some banjos. <laughs> I'm starting to hear the banjos, y'all. 
What the? Look at that sign now. What the? Who the? How the who? That's gonna be fun. That means turn around and go back. No, that it says do it fast, do it hot. You like it fast. All right, you guys. We still got a ways to go. Get some good footage of these twisties. The, the road is nice and paved, real smooth in some cases. Where it's bad, it's real bad, but when it's smooth, it's super smooth. What we got here? Mountain Creek Hideaway. Seven Sisters. I wonder oh. what that is. Oh, that's a little store. Hmm. Custom store. I bet they have some good honey down there. In there. Some good what? Good honey in there. Oh, uh, it looked like it was closed down. I know. Missed out. I bet they got some good banjos in now. <laughs> Time and ease on through these curves here. Double lines everywhere. Ain't no need trying to pass you. Just sit back and enjoy the ride on this thing. Alright, we'll be back with y'all in a minute. How you like your uh, Vega? I'm talking about your helmet. Your Vega, I think it's VS1 helmet. All right, it fits pretty good. Um, all right, so first when we first got it, it was a little tight. So I got to pack that a bit. Because I need to speak up and get that, I need to get it tight a little bit looser than that. But the speaker got to be adjusted, so. At the most part, it works out pretty good, but you got a different helmet on than what you used to wear. Yeah. Your helmet's different today. I have the exact same helmet that you have on right now. Mm -hmm. The Vega LS1 VS1. But uh, I definitely put the dark shield on it, but the reason why I'm wearing this and not my LS2 Rebellion helmet it's because it made it's a pretty good threat of rain and pretty hard rain. So with the uh, Vega helmet, it comes down well below my chin. So any oh. rain that would hit me would not hit me in my mouth, in my eyes. Anything of that nature. That sounds good. I thought you just wanted that yeah, it's definitely not it. <laughs> Definitely was not it, <laughs> but I have not wore this helmet all season, and uh, I think I do need to do something with my speaker placement. I'm hoping yeah. that the audio that I'm not receiving is coming on the video. Yeah, we're hoping this audio turns in pretty good. I can hear him just fine. It's real loud, but he's saying he can't hear me as loud as I can hear him, so... Hopefully it will show up. Um, you guys can hear us clearly. So. Yeah, so uh, the helmet that I've been using these days is my LS2 Rebellion. I guess I call it an open face, but they call it three-quarter because it comes all the way down past your, by your back of your head with mm -hmm. the drop-down glasses in it. And... Uh, I use this helmet, which is the Vega helmet, quite a bit. I always change out all my face shields to dark. But I just don't like glaring into the sun for long periods of time. All right, buddy, I don't know. Oh, you found that way he's doing. For long periods of time. And it does have drop-down glasses in there if I need to get a little darker. But uh, on road trips... I like my HJC 
ISO helmet. It's a whole lot quieter. It definitely protects you from the rain and I have a dark shield on it. The drop down sunglasses that's in my HJC, I took them out and put amber. Just in case I run into the dark, I don't have to go reaching for glasses. I can just drop those amber uh, sunshades down and it cuts through the night just as fine as it want to be. But that's a little helmet talk. Hold on to your rebellion. It's always a good sign when you see a camper come off or something. That's Those that don't know, I am double dark side. Got the rear tire in the front of the gold wing and Bridgestone drive guard on the rear. Been double, well, been dark side for about three years. I say about fifty thousand. Let's say forty thousand miles. I like it pretty good. I do not have my trailer today. I have my Ripco cooler package. I purchased the Ripco quick disconnect when I was in uh, Panama City for Thunder Beach last year. It got me a little cooler to fit down off and down. Drop me some goodies, some bear food, just in case uh, we see one and he wants to try to nibble on a uh, thumper back here. I'm going to throw him a fried bologna sandwich. Yes, yes. Just to try to buy her some time <laughs> to get away. <laughs> Whoever runs the slowest. Well, you know what they say. <laughs> I don't have to outrun the bear. <laughs> I just have to outrun you. <laughs> and I'm not above clipping your ass if you start to pull away from me. How about that, Paul? <laughs> ah! You've been a good friend And that's in the thick and thin And I know it's never gonna end Cause you've been a good friend I believe that I will survive Oh, uh -huh. Somebody's got to tell the story Oh, I'm hurting What? Oh, I've been encouraged for the last two days. I'm a round off this stuff on car tire. It's gonna look like a big old motorcycle tire. So I might get through rounding that them corners off this bad boy. Uh. Ah. Whatever that incline was, we're going down it now. Oh yeah. that forest in there. I don't even know what that was on the side of my head, but that's you over there video. That's me. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And you have channel, bro.